Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen. Well, you know, today I'm gonna make some banana bread or banana nut loaf bread, whatever you wanna call it. My grandmother called it banana nut bread. And this is her recipe out of my cookbook. And I'm going to make it on this wonderful fall day that it's rainy and cold. Get that oven going and smelling that bacon. Mmm, nothing any better. So, let me give you the ingredients ahead of time so y'all can go ahead and have them in case I don't tell you as I'm putting it in. We've got two cups of flour. I'm using the self-rising. We have got uh, one cup of chopped pecans or walnuts. If you want them in there today, I'm not gonna add them, but you can certainly do it and it is good. Two beaten eggs, one and one half cups of ripe mashed bananas, and a quarter cup of buttermilk, a quarter cup of melted shortening, and one teaspoon of vanilla, and three quarters cup of sugar. So, it's just that simple. We're gonna put all of our wet ingredients in together. We're gonna to add the dry ingredients to it at the last, and we're gonna put that in the oven, and are we in for a heavenly surprise? So, let's get started now. So let's go ahead and start with our wet ingredients. And we're gonna go ahead and start with our buttermilk, which is gonna be a quarter of a cup. And to that, we are going to add our oil, our shortening, melted down. together just a little bit with my mixer and then I will continue on with my mashed bananas. We just mashed them up as fine as we could get them and the riper the better. The better flavor it's going to have. You don't want green bananas in there. You always want to make sure that your bananas are ripe. And this is just granulated sugar. bit of vanilla. Okay, so now we're gonna put in our dry ingredients, which is gonna be our sifted flour. And we have two cups of that that we're gonna add in. And then we're gonna mix this good together. So I have to show y'all my little pan I ordered, my little loaf pan. And I got a casserole dish too in red. But it's the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen. And believe it or not, today is the first day I get to use this. So I'm excited. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in our pan. We've got our oven preheated to 350. And we are gonna let it cook for about, or bake, about 50 minutes. That's five zero. And we're gonna check it. And if it needs to go a little longer, We'll let it go a little longer, but I think we're gonna hit it pretty much on that mark. Okay, so while our bread is cooking in the oven, I wanted to talk to y'all about my new book. This is a children's book about Halloween, all about fall and the pumpkins and just everything that comes with Halloween. This is, I have to tell you, I'm so excited about it and I'm so proud of it. It's such a cute book. And it took me about a year and a half working on it. So I hope you will order one because I don't think you'll be disappointed, not one little bit. I think it will be a treasure. It'll be something you can read to them if they're not old enough to read. So go to Amazon and look for it. It's Pumpkin Time, y'all. Angie Ellison. Or go to Barnes & Noble and see it on the shelf and take a look for yourself. Okay, so we're back with our banana bread, and I'm gonna tell you this is just about the prettiest loaf of banana bread I think I've ever seen. It's so moist and soft on top and inside. I can't wait to taste this, so let's get started on it. Oh my goodness. You know, my grandmother and my mama would be so proud of me and this bread. And I think I'm gonna bake a few loaves maybe this week and just go ahead and freeze them. That way, I don't even have to worry about doing it in the holidays. 
I wish y'all were here to taste this with me. We could sit down, have a cup of coffee, chat. What a great, glorious day. And what glorious banana bread this is. Y'all remember if you have any leftover bananas, take those and mash them up and do something with them. It's so simple, so easy. It's all ingredients that you usually have on hand. And don't throw those bananas away. So until I see you guys next time in the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen, I wish you a teaspoon of love and a heap of happiness. See you later.